<laughs> Why won't you photo? Oh. You got tricks. Me. Hello, it's me. I'm Steven Allen. How are you doing today? Hit the subscribe button if you've ever struggled with a camera before and let me know what happened. So I made this shirt here. Um, I've actually only worn this out in public once. One time. So, fun stuff. This is the Hasselblad 500CM. It is one of the coolest, fanciest cameras ever made, ever in life. Hasselblad put a lot of thought into this camera. It is... A masterpiece. It is a work of art and it's very functional. I really do like this camera. I think it's really cool. It has a lot of safety features on it, a lot of things to help you with your photography experience so that you can preserve your film, so that you don't waste your film, so that you can take better photos, so that your pictures come out better and more good. It is full of safety features that could cause problems and issues when you are using it, but it's to help you, not to make you angritated. It is to help you, okay? What's your paper, mister? I'm going to tell you about the top five issues, problems, and how to fix them, and I'll mention a few extras too. So the lens on this Hasselblad, this is an 80 millimeter lens. I have this little cable on here to use with my Phase One P20 digital back. I usually just keep it around the lens, but anyway, this is the lens hood. When you move this right here, you'll see that the shutter speed and the aperture move together. They are coupled, they are partnered, they are married until you hit this little switch on the side and then you can move them by themselves. So yeah, that was something I was confused about at the beginning. And it's this type of lens. Not all of the Hasselblad lenses work this way. So if you're out and you're trying to like move and you're like, wait, why can't I get a 500 shutter speed and 5.6, why can't I make that work? Well, you need to hit this switch on the side right there. Okay, and then you can move it. You might wonder, why can't I remove my lens? Why is it stuck? Is my camera broken? No, you have to cock the shutter and then you can remove the lens. Isn't that fun? You can't take a photo while the dark slide is in. So if ever you're trying to take a photo like this, and you're like, what is going on? I cock my shutter, I'm ready to go, I have it lined up. What is happening? The dark slide. But that's a really good thing because if the dark slide was in and you could take a photo, you would just be taking a photo of nothing. So there you go. Do you like this Kamara? Kamara? Yeah. While the dark slide is out, you can't remove your film back. It's stuck. And that's really good because you could just ruin all of your film if they didn't add that feature in. So if you need to remove your film back, you put the dark slide back in and then it easily comes right off. It's as simple as that. If you look on the side of the camera here, you will see that there's a dot right there and you will see a dot on the film back right there. You want the dots to match in color before connecting them. So if this one is red because I haven't advanced the film, now that the film is advanced, you can see that the dot is white right there. Same thing with this film back. If you change the film that's inside, you'll see that you don't have a white dot there. You want it to be wound, and then you wanna make sure you have that little white dot there, and you have it matching right there. Connect the dots. And that's to make sure that you don't waste any of your images. If you put this on while this isn't advanced, then you are advancing the film back here, and that was a frame that you could have taken a picture with. You wanna make sure that these dots match so you can get as much out of your film as possible, because film is expensive, it just is. To get to the focusing screen, you have to remove the film back, and then, you can slide the viewfinder out like this, 
and then you have your focusing screen. So there are two little notches right here and right there on the focusing screen that hold it in. So if you do this, it won't come out. You have to just push those in and then your focusing screen just pops right out. The thing about it is once you put your focusing screen back in, these notches don't just, you know, go back in. Once you slide your viewfinder back on, it's set to put those notches back in place so you don't have to manually push them in and accidentally touch the glass. <laughs> I have other videos on this channel about the Hasselblad, so check that out. It's in the card above and in the description below. I'm going to be posting more videos about this camera. I think this is the month of the Hasselblad, March Madness Hasselblad, posting videos Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. Watch it, subscribe, enjoy, consume with your eyes and your ears. The thing about the digital back or this phase 1p20 digital back it is a metal body it's super heavy and sturdy when you see it online it can look like it's cheap plastic but it is not it is a solid brick it has some weight to it but you take the back cover off by pushing on this button right here but there's a lock right next to it which is really good because it means that it won't just come right off of your camera easily slide it on and then you want to hit the little lock button here on the side so now it won't just come out because there's no dark slide to prevent this from being removed there you go i do have a video on this channel about shooting with this p20 digital back by phase one in this Hasselblad 500 cm in New York City Central Park. So watch that, it's in the card, it's in the description. Enjoy, finish watching this video, then go over there and watch that one. I have a lot of videos on this channel about the Hasselblad, so binge watch it. So many videos. Pretend that my channel is Netflix and chill with popping corn. Popping corn! I'm doing my best, I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying, okay? I'm trying, okay? Once you know how the Hasselblad works, all of the features just make sense, but when you first get the camera, you're like, why can't I take a picture? Why can't I do this? Why can't I do that? Why is this not working that way? You just need to take a little time to understand the camera, maybe read the manual. I really suggest reading the manual because it has a lot of good things in there. So read, knowledge is power, okay? One section of its system operates by micro wave beam transmission. I don't know what else to say. I just, I really like this camera. I think it's super cool. I'm looking forward to shooting more things with this camera, shooting more photos. Let me be quite clear. Photos with this, and uh, we'll see where things go with it. Photography. Do you like medium format? Do you like 35 millimeter film? Are you a digital person? Just think that photography is one of those things where if you can take photographs and make them look like art, that's a skill. And not just like, oh, I just took a picture of something. Have you ever dropped a camera? The plan is to post three times a week. Monday and Thursday and Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see. Again, we'll see. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up and do something to the bell. Tap it so you can unlock those post notifications so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Visit my website, Perlin.com, where you can see my art, my music, my store, my blog, my merch, my clothing, and all of that good stuff and more. And until next time, take a little time to make art and be brilliant. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye, Kamara. It's just neat, broad, sick, bra, sick. Yes.